All right, so this is how we film Rod for uh, the sermon. First, you need one of these bad boys. This is the sermon SD card. Throw it in the camera. What we want to do is make sure that it's formatted. So click the corner, format SD, format, format, one, three, two, one. Good, and it'll format. And once it's formatting, you can see Rod up there getting ready to preach. It's done. Okay, we do the next step, which is making sure the audio is recording properly. Uh, you will recall that I've already made a video on how to get audio to go to the camera, so we're not going over those steps. We're just going to make sure that it works because once in a while the camera glitches and we'll use the wrong audio source. So we'll hit record. Okay, so Rod's set up. We're going to do a quick record. Rod, just talk for a few seconds. Yeah, I can keep talking. I can talk about the fact that I think the Calgary Flames are moving the Stanley Cup this year. Perfect. Actually, that's <laughs> perfect. Thank you. So now what we do is we hit this little play button just to make sure the audio is coming through the camera properly. And it sounds good, which means the camera is not glitching. And we are good to go on the camera. So you hit this little record button and it pops you back out here. Next thing we need to do is just make sure Rod is extra in focus, which is we press this little plus camera and then we press a little plus button that zooms in. We plus press the focus assist. We just want to make sure that Rod is all lit up like that and it looks pretty good so you can turn the focus assist off and then zoom out excellent the next thing we got to do is get rod's powerpoint going and we got to get ready to record the powerpoint and we're going to it's already set up here make sure you uh on your slideshow here go up to the slideshow options and click use presenter view like that Okay, that way when you hit F5 to show the slideshow, it takes up the whole screen like that. And that's good for now. We also need to open OBS and turn on the screen record, start recording. So now whatever Rod is doing with the PowerPoint will be recorded directly to the thing. Uh, to our computer, which we will use to put his PowerPoint up where it goes. When I am recording the sermon, I think that it is really good to not have the mains on because the mains can kind of echo in to the recording. But if you turn the mains off and you just use the pulpit mic, which is a really good microphone, uh, except for it's not exactly great for this room, but it's really great for when you don't have any... Uh, when you don't have any speakers on, if that makes sense. The, what I mean by that is it feeds back a little bit, always a little bit uh, when you have the speakers on, but with the speakers off, it sounds really good just being directly recorded to the camera. We want to make sure that we're recording on the OBS over there to get the PowerPoint, PowerPoint computer, get that video source captured. Then we want to make sure we're recording on the camera and we're recording, it's rolling. And then we ask Rod to do one, two, three, one, two, three with the thing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Rod says one, two, three, one, two, three and changes the slides and that helps you to sync up the PowerPoint changes with uh, the audio. If you have other work to do, uh, you can do that while Rod is preaching his message. If you have the kind of work to do that you can sit in the uh, sound booth while Rod records his message, that's even better. Because then if Rod messes up or anything like that, you can take a mental note and then chop out those parts when you go to edit a little bit later. Um, but if not, you just kind of go back to work. Uh, and then when Rod is done, you go and stop the video recording, stop OBS, and then we go to the next step. When the sermon is done recording and you've stopped OBS, uh, which you just hit, uh, I should demonstrate how to do that because I already did and I forgot to sk I skipped that step. So start recording, very simple. It records to stop recording and you hit stop, okay? Then to find it, you go over here to your tab, it's in videos, and then it's, it's gonna be one of these ones. And uh, the easiest way you can find out which one it is is to find out uh, which one is the biggest? 
I think it's this middle one. Properties. Yeah, 183 megs, that's pretty big. So when you're done, you always need to make sure that you delete these uh, at the beginning of the next week because this computer has a small hard drive and you just want to make it nice and tidy. Okay, so Rod is done recording and I have on my reader here, I have the camera video as well as on this thumb drive, I've gone into the video file uh, section where OBS records the screen recordings. And I've grabbed it and I'm putting it on here and we're gonna get going on this. I was gonna try to do a nice screen record of how to do this process, but OBS on my computer isn't working right now, so uh, I don't have time. I'm just gonna do it with this camera. Okay, so the first thing you do is you have a new blank open Final Cut document. That's good to go. The next thing we need to do is we name a folder uh, the Sunday that we're working on on our desktop. Then we open up the the camera's uh, files. So we have one big file here that's the sermon recorded. And then we have one little file here, and that is just our quick test that we did earlier. So we pull the big file over and it'll take a while. It's important that you don't edit the video off of the thumb drive or like the card. It's possible to plug this into the card and then just drag it right from the card into Final Cut. Do not do that because if you ever eject that card or if it ever gets messed or like the cord gets jiggled or anything like that, it corrupts the whole thing and you lose it. So we just wait for that to copy over. Um, once that's done copying, then we can grab the file off of here and put that, uh, this is the PowerPoint video recording file. And uh, then we're gonna layer them on top of each other. And uh, what we're gonna do ain't pretty, uh, but it's really time effective. And so the video, it's pretty enough. Like while I'm waiting for that file to transfer over, just a couple things. We record on the Blackmagic camera at 4K. Now 4K, we, we export our video of the sermon and our service is at 1080p. So 4K is twice as big, twice the resolution of, uh, twice the resolution of 1080p. Let's pretend that this is 4K. When we are looking at 1080, uh, this is about, this, this would be about a 1080 ratio. So what I mean by digital zoom is if we have our 4K video file, we can actually zoom and crop to that level and we can move it around and whatever without losing any real image fidelity in 1080. So while that's copying, let's just make sure our Final Cut file is set up to be at 1080. Okay, so we go over here. Let's title our Untitled Project Rod Sermon. Okay, then if you click on this and you come over to this corner, if you have this little uh, tab open, you can see the information. And it looks like this file is set to be 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second uh, with stereo. And that's exactly what we want. So when we drag a uh, 4K file onto here, which we're about to do momentarily, it will the, the, the project setting determines what it renders out at. And we want it to render at 1920 by 1080 because there's no point in rendering higher than that. Uh, at this point in history, 1080 is fine for most people. Okay, the file is now transferred. It's about 100 gigs, 110 gigs, pretty good. Then we'll take the uh, 192 meg uh, PowerPoint capture. We'll also put that into the file uh, folder. Our, and one of the reasons why we do it like this too is so that after when we move it all to the desktop, we or the backup drive, we have everything nice and neat where it's supposed to be. Okay, so then we have our file open and we drop on first the Rodney Sermon, which is the big one, there we go. So we drag that down, put that on the timeline. Okay, and then we drop down after the PowerPoint. Okay, so the important thing with this is we find the place where the PowerPoints change one, two, three, one, two, three. So oh, scrolling one, two, oh, one, two, one, there it is, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, good. One, good. One, there it is. Okay, so then we 
we trim it here. Okay, then we find the place in the audio where Rod says one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, maybe one, two, three, where are we? There it is. One, one, two, three. Good. So one, then we drag that over. Three. We try to line them up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, not bad. A little bit better. One, two, three. We'll delay, move it two, over a little bit. Just gotta play around with it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Better. Okay, so once we have that lined up, what we do is we find where Rod starts preaching, which is over here. Welcome to our service today, and I want to also say Happy Mother's Day to all. So then we trim both of these right there. Trim and trim. And uh, the way that you select which tools do what, just in case you forget, is over here you click blip, 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 blip. So I use the blade tool and then it, it puts a little cut and then I just delete it manually. Okay, so as you can see right now, all we can see is the big old uh, main slides here. And that won't do because we want to see Rod preaching. Okay, so now that we got them trimmed at the beginning, you can also trim when it gets to the end and you can, you can delete it off. What we're going to do is very simply, we're going to take this uh, here sermon uh, PowerPoint slide. We're going to shrink it a bit. We're going to move it over here and put it in the top corner right there. Then we're going to move Rod underneath and we're going to put him in the bottom corner just with these controls over here. Okay, looks good. So we want to get Rod a little bigger, so we're just going to move this PowerPoint a little smaller and then we'll, we'll zoom in the uh, Rod file here just ever so slightly like that and again we can actually scale this all the way up to 200 and we won't lose any fidelity on rod's face it'll still look good but that would be a little a little close so we'll back him up rod's a bit of an animated speaker so we want him to have a little bit of room to play around right okay so now it should be aligned so what we want to do is we want to scrub through this really quick and just see if there are any glitches. Usually Rod's pretty good at telling you if he's made any mistakes or anything like that. Like big ones, big ones where he like looks at the camera and says, oh, we got to restart. Um, so what we do is we just put this on. Looks pretty good. Nice. Okay. Then at the beginning, the first few seconds of the sermon, what we will do. Welcome to our service today. I want to also say happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there watching with us. Probably about that far. Not even. Welcome to Mother's Day. Well, Welcome to Mother's our service today. There, about that much. We're going to add, we're going to make the, the power, the cover screen, like the, the PowerPoint title. Take up the whole screen just for that much. And so for that, I'll just uh, restore the position to zero and then the zoom to the scale to 100. There we go. So it'll go like this. Welcome to our service today. I want to also say happy Mother's Day. Looks good. Last week we finished. Last thing to do is you just want to make sure that you trim it properly at the end. And uh, there you go. Uh, keep a look at your audio, make sure it's 
So this one captured a little quietly. So you can boost it up all the way to 12 dB. Okay, so now what we do is go file, share, export file. It should save as 1920 by 1080. And then, yeah, uh, video codec, do ProRes for the export uh, this time because we're gonna do one more export when we do the final service. And so you want it to be large this time around. Uh, so go next, okay. Rod Sermon, May 8th, 2022. Okay, good. So when this is done exporting, what we will do is we'll open it in QuickTime and we'll listen to it, watch it through as fast as we can, or VLC. I think VLC lets you do it faster and you just wanna listen to the whole thing, watch it all the way through, make sure there's no mistakes, make sure there's no glitches, anything like that, especially because um, we're just putting two video layers on top of each other. We're not like lining up slides or anything like that. So if there's any mistakes, we need to make sure that we catch them uh, because if, if there are no mistakes, we just saved like an hour or two of editing. If there are mistakes, we got to go back and fix them manually. So, yeah. Okay, the sermon has done rendering. It took about uh, half an hour for it to render, which is about right because we're taking a big 4K file and making a big 1080 file and it has to render a lot. So, anyways, once you have it, uh, right click, open with VLC, and it'll open it up. Play, and then let's have it uh, playback video. Let me do this playback, playback speed. Let's do three. So now what we're listening for is a big glitch, a big screw up where Rod is like, ah, oh, I want to, I shouldn't have done that or whatever. And then we go and fix it. One thing that's important to note is that if Rod screws up a slide change and is like, oh shoot, it's just here, like a little mess up like that, and he just says, sorry guys, bear with me. Uh, if it's if it's anonymous, not like, sorry Rob, but like, oh sorry, let's just go, then you can keep that in, that's not a problem. Okay, so <clears throat> just finished listening to Rod Simon. Um, if you want to listen to it, like watch it, uh, you can watch it up to four times speed. But if you just want to listen to it in the background to hear if there's any slip ups, you can listen to it at about two times uh, and then you can still hear what's going on. So it looks like it was good. So that's good. Sermon done. Uh, now all you got to do is add it to the rest of the service, but that's subject for another video.